Oh, what a horrible, horrible day. Yesterday, March 14th, 2022. The toothpick, that sign of Reza Ramon. Day we lost Scott Hall. And so many people were asking me, why haven't I done a video tribute to him yet? It was so hard for me to put the right words together and being a wordsmith and a broadcaster. But bottom line is uh, uh, to celebrate the life of Scott Hall, who was, you know, it, it, he was a real character. Reza Ramon, of course, was a character. Scott Hall in real life was a character. He was always one of these uh, these people you never know. You never knew what Scott Hall you were going to get the next day, but he, he, he was always unpredictable, and he was always entertaining. From his days as uh, when I first met him in... Uh, Oh, gosh, when he was half of the American Starship with uh, Danny Spivey for uh, Jim Crockett promotions, from his days at WCW, uh, from the NWO, I mean, so much. When he partnered with Kurt Hennig and won the AWA tag team belts, they were such a great team together. But again, it was as the character Razor Ramon that he made his fame and fortune. Um, what I thought I'd like to do rather than doing something that everyone else has been saying and talking about him, and I miss him dearly, I really do. Uh, I want to run some of the some of the moments, some of the interviews that I did with him through the years. And, uh, and let's look back and reminisce about someone who was an iconic force in the pro wrestling business. Razor Ramon, his real name, of course, Scott Hall, and uh, the bad guy, but not to me. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, Bill After reporting here for One Wrestling dot comb over <laughs> and you've always wanted to do that haven't you he loves getting me with a comb now who do i look like now curly no do the do the nutty professor oh actually i need glasses who's got the glasses no, you know? no. Uh, actually she the nutty professor actually would be like this scott hall welcome to the after chat my friend <laughs> so you you have so much that you you talk to me every time we talk to each other you always say that and it's not just me it was a whole team of people that we buried you in the magazine Magazines. So talk no, about No, no. What I want to say, and get yes. this clear, is yes, they would put my pretty movie star face on the cover to Which sell the magazines. Then on the inside, they go, well, he's just not quite living up to his potential. So to all those people, I want to say, when I leave here, it's going to be a big gathering of fans down there. Oh, down where, you ask? Down here. PG interview. Tell everybody what, by the way, you look great. You look great. And are you still uh, thanks for with, la with thanks, DDP? Thanks for laughing. You, <laughs> I mean, are, you, are you still uh, you still hanging out with DDP? I mean, I love Dally, but you got to face it. He's obnoxiously positive. I mean, he's like he's nails on the chalkboard. Positively paged, yeah. Well, I mean, no, I love him. I live two blocks away from him. Yeah. I go down there and have a free meal with him every once a week, you know. You get a free meal from him? Well, his old lady can cook. Is, and she, I didn't and know And she that. does my hair. I didn't know that. Fried dye. Can she do this? Side. Can she do this? You're going to have to do the Jack Lanza spray paint. The Jack there. Lanza spray paint. Tell everybody what you're doing these days. Oh, your son. Is okay. your son still I, wrestling? I am the uh, commissioner of WAW Wrestling yes. in England. So it's at WAW Wrestling in England. It's it's actually Paige's family. It's the Knight family. I'm there. I'm the uh, uh, commissioner. My Not DDP. This is P-A-I-G-E. Yeah, yeah. It's the hot page. 
Um, I'm over there working with them. I'm the commissioner of both Belichick's Female Warriors and WOW Wrestling. I'm working with them. In fact, I'll be back at the end of the month. Um, I'm not where I want to be, but I thank God I'm not where I used to be. Yeah, that's good. Tell I'm, us. I'm okay and I'm on my way. Tell us about uh, Cody. <laughs> the whole thing, like. Yeah. The, the whole thing. I don't want to say anything on public about my son. Okay. My son is doing his own thing and he's doing his own thing. Okay. Because okay. I'd, if I have to choose between being wrestling coach or dad, I choose dad. Love you, Code. See you soon. See you, see you in England in December. We'll see you at the matches. Hello, everyone. This is Bill hey. After and I. Bomb. Yeah, come on. Photo bomb. Uh, but this is a video bomb. Photo bomb. Hey, uh, this is Bill After I'm with. Uh, down. with That's okay. I don't really like this jabroni. Bro, bro, that's no Mr. That's Mr. Jabroni to you. I like both jabronis. Well, thank Sean Mooney, Wendy <laughs> Richter, and what's this guy's name? I forgot. What's Isn't that Kevin Nash? Yeah, he's a bad guy. Is that your Isn't name? That Kevin Nash? Call me whatever Scott. you want. Just call me bad guy. Name's Scott. Oh, right. Scott Hall. I raised a Ramon. Didn't he wrestle? Maybe he wants to interview you too. Here, would you like to do this? He's always wanted to. What was it like headlining the first WrestleMania? I mean, you walked out there with Cindy Lauper yeah. and tore the house down. It was Jump in here, Sean. Yeah. I mean, you're the interviewer. It was the of my life. It was. I mean, it's Madison yeah. Square Garden. It's the first time that wrestling has gone worldwide. And you're headlining with a chick who has a number one hit. She was my favorite singer. And it was the first time my father ever saw me wrestle. Oh, my God. He must have been so proud. No, he Sean, wasn't. What Absolutely. You, Sean, please take him. <laughs> well, no, you're, you're doing a heck of a job. I, I, I think you're way Thank more, God he didn't decide to be an announcer. Because, yeah. But, well, I, you know, I didn't get, I wasn't a part of it when it was all happening. But that made me want to be a part of it. Rock and wrestling. Remember all that happening? I remember. And you saw it happen. I was a right? Mark Watson, bro. I was at home paying my 50 bucks for pay-per-view yeah absolutely and so uh, it was a big night and then cindy lopper so it, it was i'll always remember that and yeah. it's something that i strive for for yeah. years to win the world championship from moolah I have, a, I have to imagine that when it was over everybody's walking out of that place saying we got something big here oh yeah the world is rocking have have fun. Fun. that's all they really Girls want all right. Well, uh, Bill After, who has lost complete track of this interview here at the After Chat, right. that, he loves the comb over goes on this side, actually. Sorry, Scott.